Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a review on this Japanese palette. So this palette is their Pro Design palette and what do I think about it? So today's eye look is using this palette. I did basically a look for work. It's kind of light using the neutrals. It you know what else can I say this is more of a daytime look at least for me because I do like to wear really heavy eye makeup so let's talk about this palette this palette is sleek it is cardboard um, I like this because again slides in for easy traveling it's got a magnetic closure so I really like that also some palettes are cardboard but just don't have that type of closure on it which drives me insane but this one does have the metallic closure love that so inside there's no mirror which seems kind of odd because most of these palettes do have a mirror but it's got a magnet instead i guess you got to trade a mirror for a magnet maybe i don't know so now let's talk about the palette the, the palette has some great sizes and that is really nice as far as the pan sizes go the colors blend pretty easy and pretty nice. They're almost kind of like a really light eyeshadow that blends nice. So even the darkest color here, you can see on the edge. I mean, it's not over the top super dark. So that's why I think this palette makes a great palette for your daytime work day. The colors are great. We're going to swatch those. So I did use this color here and I use basically the bottom row here. The, the palette says they're buttery on the back. I don't know that I would use the word buttery, but there there is some swatches there. To me, buttery is more soft. These are nice, but they're not kind of over the top super super soft so that's where i'm not sure that i would use buttery as the term this color here i used underneath the eye uh, let's see this color i used as the transition this one i used all over the eyelid into the crease then i darkened up the crease with this one here and this i used on the outer v so let's see how these three swatch next Put those how about right above right. so there you see that the colors are nice and on the lighter side to me which again makes it a great all-day wear palette so uh, this is how I created this eye look nice and easy I do like this palette that again I will probably use this to travel again a lot of good day looks but if you want to change this palette into a night look I think you're going to need to spice it up with some either darker browns darker purples or blacks so you're going to need to take another palette with you or if you don't travel then you just need to have other colors with you if you really wanted to make it into a night look I do like the palette overall would I purchase it again? Um, I don't know. I mean, I think it's okay. I think it's great. I think it's a great starter palette because again, the colors are so light that you don't have to worry about blending. The blending is effortlessly, but I'm not sure that I would totally go back in and repurchase this palette. If you have had this palette from Japanesque, I would love to hear your thoughts. Am I being too critical? Are you thinking the same thing I am? I would really, really love to hear what your thoughts are. So if you can put your comments below, that would be fantastic. I also wanna thank you for joining my channel today to hear this review. If you have any other comments or suggestions, do please leave those below. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice. So make it a beautiful day. Until next time.